2020. Yeah, Ramiro Garza, mayor of City of Edinburgh. Ramiro, Ramiro, we're here in the mission at the seed building. Uh, we've got various mayors here. We've got the San Antonio folks, including Mayor Nuremberg. And you came up with a big ask, a couple of big asks to San Antonio. You would like San Antonio to help the Valley. First of all, tell us about the help that they can provide on getting, allowing the Valley, getting the Valley that one MSA rather than two. Well, I, I think the discussion here is how do we work together, right, as a region? And how do we best position the entire region from San Antonio down to, to the Valley? to best compete globally. And I, I uh, brought up, obviously, uh, what we've been advocating for many years, which is the combining of the MSAs in the Valley. Um, right now we have two MSAs, the McAllen Edinburgh Mission MSA, then we have the Browns or Harlingen MSA. Um, a lot of times when companies are looking at areas, they look at the, they compare areas based on MSAs. Um, and so having two MSAs in the region really limits our efforts, I believe, in terms of competing globally. Um, and obviously, uh, in talking with San Antonio, I wanted to see their thoughts, because San Antonio has one MSA um, that encompasses eight counties, and we have two MSAs. Uh, McAllen Edinburgh Mission is one county, and Browns and Harlingen MSA is one county as well. Uh, it only makes sense to combine four counties in our area the 1.4 million people together with San Antonio's uh, large MSA. And I think that we have two MSAs coming together. Yeah, so if we combine our MSA to have a Rogan Valley MSA, now it will be easier for us to partner with San Antonio as they have one MSA to complete globally. Um, you know, we're talking about having a corridor, um, you know, between San Antonio and the Valley that we can promote together. Um, this year, combining our MSAs will definitely define, better define that corridor, how companies can be successful uh, locating in South Texas. The other thing we talked about, the interstate highway. Um, you know, we've also advocated that for a long time. There's been a lot of work that's gone behind that, but that work is not done. And so uh, we talked about also uh, getting San Antonio support to complete the interstate system, you know, from the Rogan Valley north. Um, right now it ends north of both counties. It ends north of Willacy County and it ends north of Edinburgh. Um, we need to extend that and uh, complete it. Uh, and there's a lot of work. That's, you know, continuous efforts. Um, but I think it's important that we have that as part of our, um, uh, our agenda, you know, to continue to advocate. And uh, I'm happy to know that my friend San Antonio Mayor Ron Nirenberg is in full support. Uh, of that effort to, as it'll also benefit San Antonio. Yeah, he was uh, supportive of both yeah. of your initiatives. Yes, yes, sir. Yeah, yeah, because it, 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 again, it helps. It, this is not about just something that helps the Rogan Valley. This helps the entire South Texas area. You know, for the companies that are in their area, companies in our area, as well as our recruitment efforts. So, last question. Going back to the MSA, I know you've been pushing and championing this idea for many years. What will it take up in Congress, up in Washington, to, to make that happen? Well, I, I think we need to start making our case with the administration. Uh, after the meeting, um, I was reminded that the director of the census is actually from San Antonio. So it's someone that knows the area, understands South Texas. Um, I'm you know, looking to uh, uh, take them up on that offer to, to make that introduction to us. Uh, and go up to DC and meet with them and meet with the administration because we need to make sure that we, um, you know, let everybody know about our area. I think a lot of times, you know, areas are defined based on federal requirements, not taking into account the dynamics of certain regions just like ours. So we need to uh, make our case, not just to the administration, but also to Congress because ultimately I think that's who would have anything to do with uh, making that change. Mayor Gaza, thank you so much for today's interview. Thank you.